Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix fatal error, crashing and freezing issue with dread hunger game on your Windows computer. The first step is to restart Steam. So if Steam is open, click on Steam, then click on exit, restart Steam. And if there is any update, let the update complete and then launch the game. Now the next step is to restart your computer. So go to the start menu, click on the power icon and then restart your computer and then try to launch the game. Next step is to run Epic Games Launcher in the background. So if you have Epic Games Launcher installed on your computer, open Epic Games Launcher and make sure Epic Games Launcher is updated to the latest version. For this, you can click on your profile icon on the top right and then if you see the update option, so click on update available, click on it and update the Epic Games Launcher or you can go to settings and then click on restart and update and once the Epic Games Launcher is updated, you can launch the game. So make sure that you have Epic Games Launcher running in the background. If you don't have Epic Games Launcher installed, in that case, you can go to this link and download Epic Games Launcher from Epic website. Click on download, install it and then launch the game. Now the next step is to disable integrated graphic card. For this, make a right click on the st uh, start menu and then click on device manager. Now if your computer has a dual graphic card, only then you can go ahead and do it. So expand display adapter. So if your computer has a inbuilt Intel graphic card, make a right click, then click on disable device and then launch the game. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator. For this, go to Steam, go to library and then make a right click on dread hunger game. So go to library. I'm showing you with different game, but you make a right click on dread hunger game. So make a right click on the game. Then select manage, then go to browse local files. It will straight away take you to the game ins installation folder. So open the dread hunger game folder and then select the game exe file, make a right click on the game exe file, select properties, go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Click on apply, OK and then launch the game. Now the next step is to launch the game with DirectX 11 settings. For this, go to Steam, make a right click on Dread Hunger game and then select properties. Now here you can see launch options. Type in dash DX11 in launch option and then launch the game. Now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have Nvidia card, go to Nvidia website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. So I'm showing for NVIDIA card. Go to NVIDIA website, select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system and then click on search and then click on download. And once the download is complete, run the exe file, then you will see the screen. Click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next. Then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation, then click on next. After the clean installation, restart your computer and launch the game. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. In case if you are using Windows security, then go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now if you have Windows 11, click on privacy and security. If you have Windows 10, click on update and security and then click on Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down here you can see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Then click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Then click on add an allowed app. Then click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. Select the game exe file. Then click on open. Once the game is added over here, launch the game. Now the next step is to is for laptop users with dual graphic cards. So if your computer came with dual graphic card, run the game on dedicated graphic card. So for this, type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings. Now click on browse and then go to the game installation folder again. And then this is just an example. So make sure that you open Dread Hunger game installation folder and then select the game exe file, then click on add. And once the game is added over here, select options, select high performance, then click on save and then launch the game. 
Now the next step is to perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Now go to the services tab then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services then click on disable all. In my case it, it's grayed out because I already did it. So put a check over here first then click on disable all then click on apply ok. You will see the restart option restart the computer and then launch the game. Also close steam overlay. So for this again go to steam make a right click on the game. So just make a right click then select properties uncheck the box which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game. If you have any other overlay applications, so if you have discord running on the computer close discord. Now if you have GeForce experience running close GeForce experience so close all the overlay application. Also disable the steam cloud for this again go to the steam make a right click on the game select properties uncheck the box which says steam cloud and then launch the game. Also close all the overclocking application do not overclock close all the overclocking application. So if you have MSI after burner running the computer close MSI after burner. Now if you have a revert tuner running in the computer make sure revert tuner is closed. So close all the overclocking application. Also close all the background applications. So close everything make sure only the steam and the game is running the rest close everything including all the browsers. Now the next step is to verify the game files to verify make a right click on the game and then select properties go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files and after the verification launch the game. Next step is to install visual C++ file. So copy this link the link is provided in the video description. It will take you to Microsoft website here you can see visual studio 2015, 17, 19 and 22. So install x86 and x64 version of redis file. So click on both the file x86 and x64 then run both the exe file. Now you may see install or repair options. So if you see the install option click on install if you see the repair option so click on repair click on yes to allow run the second file as well. Now again click on repair or install whatever you see and then click on yes to allow let the installation complete. Now after the installation restart the computer let both the installation complete then restart the computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to update windows to the latest version for this go to the start menu click on settings. Now go to update and security or windows update and then click on check for update and once the update is installed restart the computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to try to launch the game in window mode. So if you are able to launch the game try to run the game in window mode and lower down graphics settings. So if all the graphics settings is set to ultra or very high you can select medium or low settings and then check the performance. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. So to uninstall make a right click on the game select manage then click on uninstall. Now after the uninstallation go to the game installation folder and delete the game folder then restart the computer and after the system restart reinstall the game to a different drive. So if you have any other hard drive or solid state drive try to install the game to a different drive and then check. So one of the steps should help you to get the game working on your computer. So that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.